Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Um, of course, I just had an insanely busy three weeks-ish, and so today is my day off. And other than those couple notes on my bass trumpet that I really want to play, taking the day off. Um, this video, as per usual, is something I've thought about a lot lately, and then people constantly ask questions that I think relate to the exact same thing. Um, and that is meeting yourself where you are um, at work. You know, I get up, have a nice morning routine, drive for about an hour, and then I get to work and then I have to warm up. And I almost always feel awful. Even no matter how much or how well I played the day before, I get to work and it does not feel good. And for a very long time, I would get mad about that. I'm like, you know what, yesterday I played great um, whether it was at work or elsewhere, I just, I felt like I did really well. I put in a lot of really good practice and I pick up the horn and I just cannot do what I just left off from. And that makes me actually angry because I'm like, come on, what's the point of this? What is the point of all the practice, all these things that I do, if I can't just show up and put them into action right away. And uh, weirdly and annoyingly recently, I realized that of course, you're not gonna be the same every day. I got this from Nikki Abisi, who's a New York freelance trombonist, um, very good trombonist, um, and she posted this exact sentiment. Meet yourself where you are every day, every moment of every day. Maybe even you've played really well all day and then you pick up the horn later and you're like, whoa, that's not what that felt like earlier. Instead of holding yourself to that standard that you just left off from, whether it's the day before or five minutes ago, be like, no, this is where I am right now, and therefore, I'm going to treat myself in that manner. I need to slowly, slowly bring myself back up to that standard instead of instantly expecting that and mentally, physically being angry with yourself for not playing so well immediately. Um, I see these kind of posts all the time Someone, usually a high school kid, I assume, uh, posts like, oh my god, I took three days off, and now I can't play a high B flat at all, and my chops feel awful, and I can't do any slurs, and blah, 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 blah. And I, I'm like, well, yeah, that's that sounds very normal, actually. Maybe you got dehydrated, and that is literally the only thing that caused this. You just didn't drink enough water. Um, if you took some time off, and you just expect yourself to come back, at exactly the same level you were before you stopped playing, well, of course it's not gonna be the same. You have to meet yourself where you are in this particular moment and play that way. Um, I just went through this again, as per usual. Um, had a crazy three weeks. Tuesday I had most of a day off and I spent it practicing because I had really important stuff the last couple of days. Today is Friday and uh, Tuesday, I played my pants off. I played better than I have ever played in my entire life. I felt like I had really figured out how to stay really relaxed, let the horn resonate. All the ranges worked. My response was so fast. I almost made a video about it, but I ended up not doing that. And I was like, wow, I'm going to kill these next two days. It's going to be great. Wednesday, I go to rehearsal in the morning. Feels awful. Feels like I... I was playing six months ago, like worse than I've felt in a long time. And right away I was like, God, come on. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not playing like I was yesterday because today is Wednesday. It's a different day and that's okay. And so I changed my mental approach and went, all right, this is how I'm playing right now. What can I do to at least slowly ramp up to where I was yesterday? And it was still not fun. I still was, you know, at least a little bit like, come on, how did I play so well yesterday and today's not the same? But I let so much of that go. I let go of that burden of having to play at my highest level all the time and just did what I could. I did the best that I possibly could in that moment. And Wednesday, Thursday went about as well as I think they possibly could have considering that dip that happened honestly, out of nowhere. I have, I have no reason for that. And sometimes it's just how it is. And letting go of that 
that mental barrier, letting go of that weight that you have to play at your 100% all the time, I think is very important. The, the top professionals, people much better than me, um, their peaks and troughs of performance are not very big. They're almost always playing in this average that is very high. They're always playing at like 95%. Every once in a while, they have a really good day and they're like 99. Sometimes they take two weeks off and they come back to the instrument and they're at like 89. Um, but all of their peaks and troughs are right in that little tiny zone. The rest of us humans who have not figured out all the physicalities, don't have tens of thousand hours on the instrument, have to live in a lower zone that is wider. We have lower troughs um, and we have comparatively higher peaks compared to those troughs. And just being accepting of, you know what? Yesterday was a peak, today is not. It might not even be the lowest I've played in a while, but if it's not feeling like that 90% amazingness, that's okay. Accept that and move on and play in a way that, you know, is going to make you feel better. What is moving? Oh, mouthpieces, of course. Anyway, that's my big thought for today. I think that is really helpful um, for a lot of people. Meet yourself where you are. Don't expect to play exactly like you did yesterday or at some indeterminate point in the past. Right now is right now, and you need to play for you. That's all I've got. See you all in the next video. Bye.